WCAG 2.2 is set to be released in August 2023. So in by next month, we should have um, this new version of the Web Content Accessibility Guidelines. And this is per the W3C's website. I am on the page and I will link to it in the YouTube description. It says, we plan to publish WCAG 2.2 as a completed web standard in August 2023. And then so if you scroll down the page, you will also see the different success criteria that comprise version 2.2. And one note that I have since the last time I looked at 2.2 is that focus appearance went from 2.4.11 and it was either a single A or a double A success criteria, likely a double A. It is now a triple A success criteria. So now in effect, that means there are only six success criteria in the double A conformance level. Um, and so this page has them all. And then also on this page, you can see a timeline. And then there's also a very nice simplified version of these success criteria and what they are calling for and why they are important. And so this page just does a really good job of breaking it down and helping you understand um, the different success criteria. Um, but that's all for this video. The important part is that 2.2 is set to finally be released in august so just uh by next month we should have it and then also um there are only six cri uh, success criteria in conformance level aa and then with 2.2 one other note um and this has been available for a while but they're going to sunset uh success criterion 4.1.1 uh parsing and so that was a part of uh wcag 2.0 I don't know if that was originally in 2.0 or 2.1, but either way, in 2.1, we had 4.1.1, and now that will be removed. So in total, WCAG 2.2 has nine additional success criteria, and six of those are going to be in conformance level AA. I will include a link and more information in the YouTube description.